Yo, what's up guys? So I wanted to give my personal opinion on the Earl Thomas trade. Now I think I've talked about the Earl Thomas trade before on my channel, but I've never really talked about the Earl Thomas trade in its own video. So guys, uh, in this video, uh, before before we get into it, let, leave a like, helps out my channel a ton guys, and um, subscribe as well, helps out a ton, like I said. So uh, my opinion guys, and it shouldn't be too long of a video, I just had to give my opinion. I want Earl Thomas. I do want Earl Thomas, all right? You know, I, maybe you could say I'm still in the middle, but here's the middle. I'm leading a bit towards Earl Thomas coming to the team. I'm, I'm more on this side than I am like, nah, we're good with Woods and Frazier and uh, T Tyree Robinson. Tyree Robinson, yeah, he, from Oregon, he made the team. Uh, I, I'm more okay with, with Earl Thomas. Obviously, everyone would rather have Earl Thomas back there than those guys. Everyone. If you wouldn't, then I don't know what's wrong with you. Maybe you could say, well, for development purposes, but if this is the last year in the NFL, which it's not, then you would have Earl Thomas back there because he's 10 times the player uh, Xavier Woods is. But that's no diss to Xavier Woods because he is still a very young player. And then Kevon Frazier is a strong safety, so is Jeff Heath. At least I think Jeff Heath is more of a strong safety. Um, but my opinion on how much we should give up to trade for him, I think we give up a second at most. That's it. No more than a second. Literally no more. All right? If we give up any more for a aging vet, he's 30 years old. That's not the youngest. You know, he came in the league when he was 21 as well. So he's been in the league nine years already. All right? Or... Yeah, nine, it's been nine years, you know, he's been injured a bit, you know, so that's another concern um, So that that's not too good. I don't want to deal with no injury, especially for an old guy, right? He also said he wants to be the highest paid safety in football now When I hear that All I all I can think of is oh he wants to be the highest paid in Seattle or any other place I don't think he will want to be the highest paid safety in Dallas because he's playing for his favorite team at least that's what we think. You know, he he grew up in Texas, out of the University of Texas, and you know he he definitely wants to play for the Cowboys. He literally went to the locker room during the Seattle and the Cowboys game on Christmas Eve. He literally said, "Hey, if Seattle kicks me to the curb, come get me." That's literally what he said. He said something very similar to that. If I'm wrong, it was very similar though. And uh, Cowboys literally offered, uh, I think, a second round pick. Uh, was it yesterday? Today's the fifth. I think they offered it yesterday, and Eagles, I mean, not the Eagles, the Seahawks were like, no, 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 we, 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 we won't accept that. So, um, Seahawks are being dumb, get something out of your player, you know, get a second this year instead of a third next year when he's gone. Well, 2020, you're going to get that third round comp pick, all right? So, better to get a second round pick this next year, so, you know, it's a round hype, and you get it a year earlier, all right? Get that instead of waiting a whole nother year to get another to get a third round pick. So let me guys know what you think. I used to think all we needed to give up was a fourth. And I was like, if anything more than a fourth, no. I think a second is just fine, guys. I do. He's he's a hell of a player. All right. Um, he's like Eric. I'd rather have Eric Berry though. Just gonna be completely honest with you. I like how he plays a bit more because uh, he can't play both positions uh, better than Earl uh, can. But Earl's the better free safety. But anyway, guys, like I said, let me know what you would give up to get Earl Thomas because, uh, you know, I probably have it too high, you know. Uh, I'm still kind of thinking between that, but I I think I'm set on a second rounder. You know, maybe a third only or maybe maybe a third and some change, but a second and nothing else. That's it, you know. If you give a third and, like, Rico or a third and, um, I don't know, who, who else, dude? Uh, Cameron Fleming, maybe that would be okay with me, you know, but... A second round is, is all, I'd, all I'd give up uh, at, at most. So anyway, guys, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe to my channel. Helps out a ton, guys. It really, really does. And um, I don't know if this video is going to come out the 5th or the 6th. Probably the 5th. So, guys, uh, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys later.